When talking about conservation, we often hear the argument that extinction is natural. It's just part of life. It's our toll for living on this earth. But the reality is much more complicated than that. There is a big difference between extinction and mass extinction. Life on Earth has existed for roughly 4.5 billion years, and in that time, we've lost around 99.9% .9 of all species that have ever existed. This can be for a number of reasons. Sometimes habitats and environments change too quickly for some species to adapt. Sometimes a new predator enters a range and lower level species are wiped out. And sometimes it's something much bigger. An extinction that destroys over 75% of all life on Earth at one time, in one short period. We call this a mass extinction. In Earth's history, we've experienced five mass extinctions. 444 million years ago was the Ordovician extinction, in which 86% of all life on Earth disappeared. 375 million years ago was the Devonian extinction, in which we lost 75%. 250 million years ago was the Permian extinction, or the Great Dying. This was the closest that life had ever come to completely disappearing from our planet, where 96% of all species went extinct. 200 million years ago was the Triassic extinction, in which we lost 80% of all species. 66 million years ago was the Cretaceous extinction, in which we lost 76% of all species on the planet due to a meteor impact. But it's not always that fast. It's important to remember that mass extinctions don't always happen in the blink of an eye, or even as quickly as 100 years time. But it's still considered a mass extinction just because of how many species went extinct during that time period. This brings us to now, the Holocene period. Every year, between 15 and 18,000 new species of plants and animals are identified. Here's the scary part. Between 54 and 72,000 species go extinct every year. This means that plants and animals are disappearing from our planet roughly four times as quickly as they're being discovered. Much of the wildlife that we share this planet with will go extinct without us ever knowing that they even existed. Let's go back to that number. Between 54 and 72,000 species every year. This is more than 1,000 times the natural rate of extinction. And it can't be a coincidence that this coincides exactly with human activity. Pollution, habitat destruction, climate change. And everything that we've done since the Industrial Revolution has had a negative effect on the species that call this planet home. Right now, species are going extinct at a rate that hasn't been seen since the Cretaceous extinction, 66 million years ago, when the asteroid killed the dinosaurs. The thing is, that asteroid didn't have the consciousness to be able to understand that as it was hurtling through our atmosphere and about to make impact with our planet, that it was going to end three quarters of all life. It didn't know that. It's a space rock. We're humans. What's our excuse?